This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of uh, Threads of Fate. In the last episode, we uh, helped Mel get her, like... I gotta remember that I had to pay attention a bit. We helped Mel get her, like, little friend back, a Popple Purell, and we learned a bit more about ourselves. Well, we, we knew about ourselves, but we finally got exposition of the story that we are... Um, oh, right, he does that, like, three times. Uh, that we are not human, maybe some mannequin or something creature like that it's hard to say but uh um, and we're trying to save claire because her when she got killed by that one one dude uh her soul or she died but we took her soul and put it into our body and now we basically forced her to live on like a like a frankenstein's monster Ooh. but anyway we've got a that's our true motivation so but anyway on the way back of helping elaine with uh getting home we got attacked by a dude who pretended to be a star who's uh I mean, it's kind of a long fight because of just how, how silly it is. Because we can't hit him until he gets falls over, you know. But still, you gotta you gotta appreciate the, the goofy fights in, in games like this. But St oh, Stur! Oh, I, was I able to move? Oh, I was able to move. Ah, oh, man, I got a cheap shot at the end. Dang you, Duke! Ugh, I think I, I think I broke my nose. Yeah, well, Star, that's the life of a star, right? I <laughs> like a way to just pat some go there, there. <laughs> okay, give me back the tiara. It's not over, Rue. You'll be my love long rival. Whatever. Come on, where's the tiara? Tell you what. I'm going to let you love today. Next time, you're not going to be the one with the... You're going to be the one with the busted nose. I'm going to bring you my best act yet. You can count on it. Well, Team Duke blasting off again, I guess. He must have busted his ears, too. Your friend is such a delightful star. Please don't call him my friend. We, we already have enough problems as it is. I've got 99 problems, and being a friend of Duke isn't one of them. What's going on here? Psycho Buster. What is it? My lord. I mean, I don't know. No, that's a different voice. Okay, so. Okay, I was doing the wrong voice. My lord, we have a new menace in the big game buying from my valence relic. Who is it? A mercenary? Bandit? One of the mage? My lord. Oh! Interesting. So he hungers for the relic, too. I never expected he would. I presume you've already taken the necessary steps. I sent them to Corona moments ago, my lord. They should arrive tomorrow morning. Good, just keep an eye on him for now. And one more thing. Keep Princess Maya in the dark on this matter. Yes, my lord. We will suppress this matter until the time comes. At last. The time has come to fulfill my duty. <laughs> duty. In time, I will walk the path of darkness, at which time you three must accompany me. It would be, it would be our honor, my lord. We have fought from the day we were born. Fighting is our way of life. We desire nothing more. In the name of Dollmaster, we shall eradicate your foes. I expect nothing less. Or Dollmaster. I expect nothing. Wait, is his name Dollmaster? That's a weird name. It could be hard to take him seriously. Whoa! What's more like a butler than a psycho master, but what do I know? Alright, time to drop a lane off, I guess. Guess what? Something cool happened. Those hoodlums tried to rob someone at the hotel. But someone caught them and kicked their butts. That's that one lady, right? Wait, didn't they, ha didn't they try to go they rob the hotel again? Because weren't the mercenaries Duke and the other girl staying there too, like Beatrice or whatever her name was? They probably don't have anything to say about it. Yep. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I will support you. Well, I mean, I had 500 gold, so it's not that big of a deal, but... A little annoying. 
Is there actually anything in here? Acquired a dreamstone. Dreamstone? Huh. That's interesting. I wonder what that does. Probably something you can sell. Well, might as well sleep in a nice bed, I guess. I paid 500 for it. I have to find the relic. Yeah, I didn't actually mean to... Hmm? That was interesting. Hmm. wonder what that means. Anyway, we look forward to serving you again. I don't know if it was... Well, I guess we got that Dreamstone thing. I guess it was worth it to do that. Anyway, let's check out the rest of town before we... Before we head off to our next destination. I guess our next thing to do is to talk to the... Klaus, uh, Klaus again. Eh, nothing here. I always keep thinking that one of the characters is going to be like... Hanging on there or something like that. Let's see. And the boy's there. The old man Graham's not around. I assume the guy at the, the um, harbor isn't going to say anything new. No, you never know. Or he's not. Oh, there he is. He's just really far off. It's quiet here. Only gets noisy. Cool. Next time, I'm as a cook at the tavern. Oh, um, free until next time. Might as well get back, yeah. Yeah, I keep forgetting about characters having multiple bits of dialogue. Where's that one kid again? Um, yep. Yeah. Still want to play, but it's almost time for dinner. Still want to play. Okay, nothing new there. Yeah, so probably, I probably need to talk to the family about, about the cube and everything. Because we got to read the uh, notes that she gave us. I don't think we can actually read those notes. I guess the Dreamstone must be a sellable item or something like that. Um, yeah. I don't really need the money that badly. I mean, I guess I could grind, keep grinding uh, against you for the a thousand gold every time, and then and then uh, boost my stats up. But I'm not really in the mood for that. Uh, let's see, that's the where's the shop. You have anything? Do you have anything new to sell? Probably not. Yeah, might as well sell those uh, monster tokens while we're here. Get a little extra dough in the in the do we do? I assume none of these uh, buildings are gonna have anything new on them either, but. Are uh, you still walking around in that? Yep. You have anything new to say? Nope. You guys should have some new dialogue, you know. This is a PS1 graphics. You can add a few extra lines of dialogue, you know. It's not that hard. Nah, it's not that big a deal. I just... I think in the future I'm just going to skip checking in on there because it seems like it's pointless. But there's going to be nothing adding added to that. Hello. Oh. Just talk to the regular folks. I assume you don't have anything to say, Claire. Or Karth, I mean. Nah, not yet. Actually, I do. I actually haven't saved in between episodes yet, so I need to do that really quick. Put an extra. Just in case if something happens. Or I can reload it if I need to take a break. Or if I need to get to an old point in an episode for for those purposes. Alright, let's talk to Klaus and everyone. Drop Elena off. I guess we just auto-dropped her off, I assume. So no one else is here, so... Got that cube, Klaus, in the note. Hey, Rue! It's good to see you back! Doctor, good news. Mel examined the cube for us. She wrote the details in this report. That's great! Let's read it! Hmm, I see. You finished reading it already? Not yet. I just finished reading the part that explains how to open it. So I figured why not open it now? I, I guess. If it can be opened, there must be something in there. I believe so! Mel's report says open the cube and find out for yourself! What a... what a... 
explaining lady she is. I think there's I think there's an item in there that can unlock the seal placed by the Aeon. There, that should do it. Whoa! Did they use some sound effects from Final Fantasy Tactics for that? It almost sounded like a certain sound effect from that game. What? What in the world is that? It's like a person or a child. Or God. No, I don't know. I can't believe this. How did this boy fit inside that tiny cube? Magic. Seriously, magic. He's not human, Doctor. He looks human, but he's a doll. Amazing! It would be impossible to make something like that nowadays. And you know what they say about fantasy. Fantasy always takes place after a world of, of magic and awesome. Uh, basically, every fantasy game is basically a post-apocalyptic world where everything was better and more powerful magic and all that fun stuff. No, uh, no, duh. Don't you even know who made that thing? It was Grand Magician Elroy. That means that doll is packed with all kinds of powerful magic. What are you doing here, Mint? Don't let his appearance fool you. He's called Prima Doll. Pre <laughs> he's a Prima Doll? Mm -hmm. No. And he's the only one who has the power to break the seal of the Relic Runes. Wow, Elroy was so close to breaking the seal. Well, I I guess now we can get the Relic with this Prima Doll. It's not that easy. Did you even finish reading Mel's report? Wait, did Mel tell you everything without, without writing it down? A cheeky lady. You don't know anything, do you? What, are you going to tell us? Fine, I'll tell you. This Prima doll isn't complete. Right now he doesn't have any power, so he's sleeping. Even if you kick him or slap him, he won't do anything. Well, he's a child, so I, I would think we would do that. Or he looks like a child, anyway. He'll just keep lying there. There's only one way to wake him. We need to get some items, right? And fetch quest. Exactly. The stuff we need is written in Mel's report. So how do you convince Mel to tell you all this? Wh what? You know, girls only talk type of thing. Did you have to get a pop up URL too? I guess we'll find that out during her story. Hmm, here it is. Grand Magician Elroy worked closely with his apprentices. The items needed to complete the Prima Doll are kept in the tillies of his apprentices. A pair of gauntlets, a pair of solar rays, or solar reds, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, are being kept at the Ghost Temple. Ghost Temple? I gotta call some Ghostbusters on this one. The earrings are being kept at the Atelier in Gamble Forest, and the forest is high above the river. The final item, an amulet, must be made from Phantomite. What, an titanium? Phantomite? I've never heard of such a thing. Hmm. Doctor, please find out where we can get some Phantomite. Please. No. I'll go to the Ghost Temple in Gamble Forest and get the items. That's not a good idea. Oh, you got a better idea, Miss Prissy, Prissy Princess? Remember, you're not, we're not the only ones after the relic. If you go on your own and get the items, someone else might end up taking them away from you. I mean, Duke only got the tiara. I got the cube, so... I know about the tiara. Bill and Duke took it away from you, didn't they? How do you know? Who told you? It was Elena, didn't you? She's a snitch. You know what happens to snitches, don't you? That's what That's what's going to happen if you go by yourself again? What are you trying to tell me? Dang, you're slow as ever. What I'm saying is we should work together to get the items. You go to the ghost temple and I'll go to Gamble Forest. It'll be a lot faster. This way we don't have to put all our eggs in one basket, capiche? What are you, Italian? Okay, is that okay with you, Doctor? Yes, I think that would be better. Alrighty, let's get on with it. I'm gonna go to Gamble Forest to get the earrings. You go to the ghost temple? Make sure you bring back the gauntlets and silverettes. You better not screw this up this time. Hey! You better not keep those earrings for yourself. What? What did you just say? I can't believe you'd say that. I never would do that. Mm -hmm. This is the lady who said I want to take over the world. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, come on. Look, we're partners, okay? Trust me. Dang it. Or dang. Hey, hell, the uh, heck, the first time you tried to... Uh, you found us. You were you were threatening us. So uh, the ghost temple is a dreadful place. Rumors say there are large skeletons and creepy dolls in the temple. Well, can't be a can't be a story without creepy dolls and sk spooky skelly skeletons. Spooky scary skeletons. Oh, hey, hey. how about I flip it around, and make it a little bit easier? Uh, I keep wanting to use my analog sticks on this. 
hear the ghost temple has a lot of mysterious things. I've never been there, but I think it's probably like Mel's Atelier. I don't think anything is going to be like Mel's Atelier. But who knows, right? Alright, so we got a new objectives to the ghost temple. And of course, I'm going to double check whether anyone see if anyone has any different dialogue or something like that. What's my light? Actually, what's my stats like? I'm healed. I could try to fight. Oh! Rod's gone. Huh. Wait, his boat's missing, too. Well, no extra money for me, then. But yeah, he must be out uh, lollygagging or fishing around or something like that. Eh, probably not important. We'll see. We'll see him another day when we get back. Eh, I can say I don't need to save right now. Huh, we'll say there's no one around here, so... I'm gonna go back to that one force, because remember we saw that, like, thing in the dream sequence, so I want to, uh... I might check the temple lakes lakeside just to see what's going on there. Because you can't really do anything with it yet, but might as well check it out, so... But, didn't the book say something about... Or maybe you have to turn... I was about to say, maybe you have to turn into monkey, but nope, we can just fall inside. Well, here you go. Huh. Well, okay. What are these things? What are these things do? Oh, they're just chipmunks. Right? More of them. And they just do the rolling spine and... Wait, are those chipmunks or are they something else? They look like, uh... Not armadillos, um... Porcupines, maybe? Oh, we fought those before. Yeah, okay. I know where they're from. When we... When we... When we fell down to the, the forest that one time, or down that cliff, we, we ran across them. Oh, yeah, I still need to go back and... It is withered. Oh, do I have something that... I don't think I would. I assume I need, like, some water, or, like, a water attack or something like that, but... Which I don't have anything that does that, so... I wonder what that would do. It probably unlocks, like... Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. Huh. Yeah, I need to find something that gives, that does water. Do I have anything that does that? I probably would just do that, too. Does it? No. No. And the bloom, yeah, that doesn't do anything. What? Well, actually, what is it? I assume I need, like, a water attack or something like that. Oh, that just doesn't... What's the point of that ability, then? I'll just come back here when I get a water attack or something like that. Maybe in the, uh, maybe the lakeside area has a... Has something? Oops. So I'll have to come back later if I want to get that treasure chest. Yeah, I still remember I gotta go back to that one, that underground area, when I get enough magic to uh, unlock that treasure chest, too. Just to see what's in... Okay, so that's it. And I don't remember this place having a, uh, a water... Wait, what? I can't leave? Oh, that's right, I, I actually have to go... Yeah, that's right, you have to actually finish the, the map and... Uh, uh, oh, right, you can't... You have to finish the... Uh, map and talk to the one thing or whatever that lets you leave, I think. Oh, that's why you want to jump on that, because of the... Alright. I think there should be... I think it was either a doll or something like that you talked to that lets you, let you go back. Take me home, froggy, or whatever thing. I don't even know that's going to be on my main LP by the time it, we I get to this part or not. Because that one that one took forever to record. Let's see. No new, new things in the shop, right? Oh, we got new stuff now. Hooray. Uh, do I want better attack or better defense? I'm always I'm always a defense first kind of guy. And we'll come back later for for the defense at that point. Yeah, let's go to the lakeside uh, um, place first and see if uh, and see if there's any like water water like um, uh, creatures I can I can I can take or whatever, and then I can um, uh, feed that one thing and get that treasure chest, which I assume is just gonna be something I can sell. Because this game doesn't really have a use of items or anything like that, so. This is it. Oh, there it is. I wonder if the relic is really there. I guess we could have checked this anytime. Claire, I'm going to get you back soon. 
I promise. Please wait a just a little longer. All right, dude. I think you're, you're you have some issues there. She's clearly dead, you know, and we don't even know if the relic's gonna give her back her body. But okay, so and I'm not gonna go back to. I'm trying to remember. I don't see in the underground area was the. I don't remember there being any water things there. And then obviously Melzatilli is pretty straightforward, so I don't do anything there. So okay, I guess we'll just go to the ghost temple. I mean, I don't have my armor or anything like that, but that's fine. I guess I could have so sold, like, some coins or Dreamstone to get that, but save that for maybe in-game stuff when I need a little extra dough. Hmm. Oh, that's a lovely lady there, but how does that get us inside? It's locked. There has to be a switch or something. Gosh, how am I supposed to get in? Oh, <laughs> the owl's out, you think? Hello? Is anybody there? Fine. You want me to come in? I'll come in. No, no, uh, no, no doing a halfsies, are, uh, is it with you, with uh, Mr. Rue? Gosh, it stinks in here. Yeah, I think. Exclamation point. Well, we should know he's gonna lock in on us. Nuts. Now what? I knew it. Oh well. Huh, T for time to leave. No turning back now. All right, let's check this place. Check, 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 check it, check it. No, I can't, uh, can't attack. I assume that's a door. Okay. Well, I didn't want to go inside, but it opened by itself. Or again. Okay, I guess there's nothing else to check, because I don't have a choice now. Can we go back? Can we attack? Okay, so now we're in we're in combat area mode again. Or in new area, so huh? Question mark exclamation point. Who are those things? Or who are those guys? Look like knights or something like that. What are we trying to pretend to be Metal Gear Rue over here? I did. Who are they? Who are for that location? Jeez, what were those monsters? Looks like they're guarding them at this place. Well, better ch better follow after them. That's the best course of action. I was just seeing if there's anything down here. Oh, lot. Oh, that's the door. Locked. Okay. How about the way they came in? Locked. All right, I'll go on your little railroad. You happy, game? Nah, that's fine. <laughs> What the? Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, had to be. Had to be careful. I don't have the armor for it. I have the attack power for it, but. Oh. Is. Is that it? Okay then. Well, that was weird. Well, can we check the other places out now, or. Oh, whoa! Okay, that was weird. Ah! Oh, we do have a water ability now. Nice. And, oh, those guys turned into something, too. These are weird. Huh. I actually almost lost track of who I was for a second because I was, you know, both dudes and whatnot, so. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dudes here. He's side swiping. Uh, yeah, just keep coming, dude. This side swipe's pretty good against these guys. More than the straightforward one works too, but only in, only in certain creatures and stuff like that. Anything more? God, can we just maybe we just need to bypass them or something? I, they might keep respawning. Oh, now, jerks, and uh, 
Can I actually... Okay, that works sometimes. Do these guys just keep spawning? They must. They must be. Uh oh, that's not good. Might end up having to use a. Uh I didn't mean to. Come on! I didn't mean to go inside. Well, that's not good. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, I did, I did not mean to walk on this side. Yeah, I can't. I can't go that far. Whoa! Oh, come on! Oh, this game. This. Okay. This place is horrible. Run! There we go. There we go, this way. Locked. Nuts. Nope, can't go that way. Well, how am I supposed to go forward? Is there like a creature I have that lets you do that? Let's see. I guess I'm supposed to use this guy because he's fast, right? So I assume I might be able to like jump over a... Uh, Jump over the gap, maybe? That's... And I died. Man, I, well, it says... It looks like it says seven, but... Or one, but I guess it's seven. Is uh, how much damage my life takes every time I do that. All right, let's try to dry. I still have that form. Now let's try it again. Oh, I hate that. That's really annoying. Like, you can't, like... You have to, like, press the button, like, right before. Okay, so, yeah, it is based off, like, what creature. Huh. Okay. Oh, we can't hurt those guys. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, that guy I can't hurt, but... Locked? Oh, uh, okay, I know what I have to do. That open the door. Neat. Whoa. What was that? Who's there? Who threw that? What is this room? Hmm. A chandelier looks kind of fishy. Let's step under it. Or not. Okay. Something's not right. Peekaboo! Whoa! That guy looks familiar. Like I had to dream about seeing a guy like that or something like that. Ugh. It's a guardian. Who's up for round one? Whoa! Oh. That's, not good. That's not a good start, don't worry. Right. That's, it seems like the best way to fight in this game is just to like let the creature like fight or whatever and then run away and then uh, and then attack. Uh-oh. Ah! A third head? How many heads do you have, anyway? I could probably hit him with one of my monsters and probably do more damage, I bet. I bet he's, like, weak to, like, an element or something. Like fire or water or something like that. I keep letting him at. 
Oh, almost got him. Yeah, boy. Darn, he only had one Solaret. What is a Solaret, anyways? Is it like a pauldron, a pauldron or something like that? Acquired left Solaret. Now one down, man, uh, one down, many more to go. So what is what is uh, also in this temple for me to deal with, and what's Mind up to? Find out next time in the next episode of Threads Fate or Thread of Fate. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.